So th there's uh, two main reasons why I think human security is helpful. One is sort of in developing a mutual approach. Uh, right now, the international institutions just don't have the trust and the, therefore the instruments to tackle common issues. And if we can then think about human sec security rather than state level security, that can open doors for conversations because our populations, the peoples, they, they are suffering from the same challenges. And that may then help uh, different governments to, to be able to speak to each other and try and solve common problems. So that would be uh, sort of one way of, of opening doors, speaking about things that are, are, we can relate to all of us. Uh, the other reason is, is more practical and that is in terms of climate adaptation, we, we are now in a process where we are strengthening defense capabilities, societal resilience, for example, and, and this is very much related to climate adaptation as well. So if we don't just think about external military threat, but rather all the challenges that we as humans are facing uh, in terms of human security, then we can find that dual use purposes because much of societal resilience when it comes to war and conflict is also highly relevant for other challenges. For example, uh, climate related disasters, uh, but also pandemics and, and, and other types of, of uh, challenges that we are facing currently.